Here's Jed Lowry now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Set. Here's the 0-1. Popped him up. Robinson ranging into shallow right. One away. Eric Gagne takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Stepping up to the plate, Frank Thomas. We could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Taylor. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. How about it? Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A high fastball is in there. Oh one, here's the pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Into the box, Mike Piazza. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. The 1 0. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, 1 and 1. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Three. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One left for Oakland. Still a 3-2 ball game. Pat Nisha is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 93, Pat Nisha. Here's Corey Seager. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Corey Seager. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. On a line, that's a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside, fighting it off for a nice base hit.
so that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. One ball no strikes to count. Seager aboard here at first with nobody out. On the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Lowry on to first to complete the double play. Really good pitch for the pitcher right there. Down in the zone. Hits on top of it. Induces the ground ball double play. Standing in now, Justin Turner. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And a slider on the inside for strike one. Two out, nobody on. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Again, a one two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're up three to two.